In this video we're going to look at the baby auth challenge on Hack the Box. So it's a web challenge um, labeled as easy difficulty and the challenge description says who needs session integrity these days. So let's launch an instance. can take a little while. Pretty quick in this case. And if we go here we have a login page, members login with a username and a password box and a create account link here linking to a register page. So we're going to have a look first just at the page source, just in case there's any interesting comments or links here, any interesting code. We could have a look at the JavaScript, see if there's anything left for us in here. It looks just like some form validation. So let's close that down. Let's just try default login of admin admin. And you can see there we've got invalid username or password. Let's try and create an account. Let's create admin admin and we get this user already exists. So we'll go back, we'll create a new user, crypto, crypto, and it's redirected us to the login page. Let's go ahead and try and log in, crypto, crypto, and we have you are not an admin. So we can go and have a look at Burp Suite here, see we have our attempted login, there doesn't appear to be any interest in headers or any flags or anything like that just sent off the username and the password and then the next request has added a cookie here, the PHP session ID which we could also find here with by hitting F12 on Firefox to bring up the um, developer console and we can have a look in the storage tab and see we have this this cookie set. So something we can do in Burp Suite is actually let's go back and double click this PHP session ID and see what kind of encoding it's likely that it's been base64 encoded which is quite common so let's uh, double click that and we have Hackverter installed here if I go to Hackverter and actually um, so this Hackverter let me just show that this was in the extender tab there's the app store with a lot of different apps some of these you have to pay for or have the you can see here requires Burp Suite Pro for some of them. Um, so that this was installed. Uh, these are some of the extensions that I've installed here, and the Hackverter allows us to easily convert between different things. You see here, different encoding, encryption, compression, and things like that. Let's go back to our tab here. I'm going to Control and see that, and I'm going to go to Hackverter, and you can see it's automatically pasted that in, and it's it's auto decoded and we have the result of username crypto. So let's change that to username admin and then let's hit swap and that's going to swap that around and then let's hit convert and that's going to convert our new um, cookie value into base64 encoding and now we can we can either hit F12 and just like paste this new one in, hit enter and then refresh or we could have um, gone ahead and sent a new request here I should have actually changed the scope here to get some of that out of the way, but um, we could just send another request here and modify this value. So let's do both. Um, let's select this one and send it to the repeater. And in the repeater, let's paste in our new cookie, hit send, and you see here we've got back our flag. As I say, another way we could have done it would have just been to save it here and then refresh the page and we get our flag. And that's been the Baby Auth Challenge. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, any questions or comments, leave them down below.